So Donald Trump has won the US election. Uh, he's going to make America great again. But what will the Trump victory do to make property investing great again in the UK? To discuss that, I'm joined by my good friend John Howard. John, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm very excited by this Trump victory. Mm. What, what do you think? Well, it'd be interesting to know how many property investors in the UK would have voted for Donald Trump. I think, um, well, <clears throat> I think there'd be a huge amount. Well, you can let us know in the comments below. Sure, yeah. We've done some videos on Trump. But I think uh, what, what this is, is a milestone moment in terms of the G7 countries, because we see a move away from centre-left politics yep. and ideology. So we're going to see the, uh, the biggest economy in, in the world, leader of the free world, implement policies which are not about um, over-regulation, over-taxing, bloated yep. government sector, bloated public sector spending, wars and all that sort of well, stuff. We'd, 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 we'd like a, a type of Donald Trump here, wouldn't we? I suppose Nigel Farage mm -hmm. is the nearest we've got, well, to be fair. I wonder whether in the UK, I mean, I know you've had a lot to deal with the Conservative Party, but I think the Conservative Party has been infected by this centre-left ideology mm. ever since the Liberals were let in in the, in the David Cameron government. Uh, uh, Before then, it was yeah. properly Conservative. I totally agree. We've got to get back to um, Conservative, um, you know, what, what Conservatives means. Um, Kemi Badenoch's got a big job on her hands, but I think she'll... Is she a Margaret Thatcher? Because we need a Margaret Thatcher to bring I, us out of this. I'm not sure, she, but, you know, Margaret Thatcher was not the Margaret Thatcher you saw in her prime when she started, when she became leader. She, she grew into the job, and um, Kemi Badenoch has got four years to grow into the job. And I think she'll give Mr. Starmer a run for his money. That's what I think. But I think the other thing I think is really important here is that if we look just on the morning of the election, you know, the US dollar has strengthened. The US stock markets have seen yeah. some of the, the biggest one day rallies ever. And, and this all means that business has massive confidence in it being good for the economy. And if the US takes a more capitalist, traditional conservative path, doesn't it keep the UK in a little bit of check? They can't, if Kamala came in and she was going far left, yeah. then and it gives the green everything. light for Starmer to do yeah. the same. I, I totally agree. And actually having a businessman, uh, whatever you might think of his ethics and everything else, you know, um, but if you've got a businessman in charge, I thought he let himself down last time he was president slightly because he could have actually, I think, um, performed better on occasions and proved that a business person can run a country and I thought he let himself down in certain ways last time and perhaps this time he's learnt, he's got a different team around him um, and very interestingly none of the Labour cabinet in the UK, not one of them has been in business, not that, one of them. That is a good point. I mean, let us know what you think about the Trump victory in the comments below. Also like, comment, subscribe for more of John and me giving our take on uh, what's, how world events affect UK property mm. investors and the like. Um, no, I fully agree with you. And I read somewhere that out of 400 and um, odd MPs, yes. only nine of them have, have run a business. Our business secretary, John Rawlinson, yes. um, apparently he has only had one job before he was um, MP, and that was working for a council. Well, so he's never even know, been. Well, well, most of them have been civil servants. Virtually all of them have been civil servants of one type or another. And of course, um, the 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 only well, not the only MP, but the MP with most properties investments uh, in the Labour Party has got nine properties. That's the most. Uh, so that tells you something about about um, about their credentials in my in my view, you know, whereas obviously Donald Trump in America, um, huge, huge businesses, some have failed, except you know, we all accept that probably, you know, he's got his faults as well. But um, what's going to happen to interest rates in the UK on the back of America? Because I think that's a very important point, Ranjan. That is an important point. I think there's a, there, there's a Fed decision coming, Bank of England decision coming. Mm. I think the sentiment is a, a, for an immediate kind of reduction, but who mm. knows what will happen into mm. next year. Well, as <clears> you know, I've always, I have predicted that interest rates will go down further and then they'll go up next year because of, the, because of inflation. Inflation is a major problem in the UK, I think, with the Labour government. 
Now, whether that inflation will be the, will be the same in America with Trumpy, we don't know, but probably unlikely, I would have thought, because he's likely to keep more control on, on the costs of running the country. You would we have could thought. see a worse problem, because I think the, after the, last, the budget, the markets have already baked in um, the fact that we ain't going to get any growth because the gilts yeah. and the 10-year bonds and the swap rates have all edged in the wrong direction. The problem is, is if Trump goes along and implements proper growth-type policies, then it makes America and the dollar and the US markets a far yeah. more investable destination. So why would you go for UK? So UK will have to offer greater interest rates to yeah. attract that capital. Gotcha. So it's a bit of a doom loop. Yeah. 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 I, th I think, yes. I, I mean, I, I, and the other thing is, is the trade because, you know, we, we, with Lamy, our, our foreign secretary. Do you mean Lamy? Lamy or Lamy. I think Lamy is probably a better word for him. You know, slagging off the now president of America in such a dreadful way. He'll have and to go. also, not the, he wasn't the only one. He's been pretty hopeless. But the health secretary also was dreadful, dreadful about him. Insulting. Uh, insulting. And uh, if I was uh, a Trump, uh, they'd, be the first, they'd be first to get the old um, verbal, I don't verbal think bullet uh, from me. I don't think he'll really care, quite he frankly. He doesn't care, no. He won't care. But I think the, the important thing, going back to your original question about would property investors vote for mm. Trump, I think that if, if you look at Trump, right, he, he, you want to encourage growth. You've got yep. to have economic growth because yep. that pays for everything. That pays for the whole and he's goddamn balls, show. And he's ballsy. But he is the only one that has actually made money. He's taken a dollar and made a lot yep. more dollars with it. Yep. Who the hell has done that in the UK? They all reckon that spending 21 billion on carbon capture schemes yeah. is suddenly yeah. going to grow yeah. the economy. They're completely clueless. Yeah. No one in power here yeah. has, has, has taken a pound and grown it. No. And he's actually had take, uh, Donald Trump's taken some money off me. Ah. Because I bought his book, Art of the Deal, in 1988. And uh, I was already doing property deals by then, but they inspired me to do more, probably, and to do bigger deals. That was a good. That was a good book, um, and I think. Um, I mean, I've seen him speak actually at the Excel Centre uh, several years ago, and um, you know he had a lot of energy, um, and you know he did four campaign rallies oh. on the day before. Yeah. Um, the and, they, and they're two hours each and he has no notes. I mean, I speak for 30, 45 minutes without notes. I ramble a little bit, not a lot. You need notes though, don't you, Ranger, when you speak? No, I've got no teleprompter here. What, no, no notes whatsoever. No, 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 no. My goodness, your nose <laughs> is getting longer. Um, so, so, you know, they say he rambles a bit. Well, in a two hour speech with no notes, you're going to ramble a little bit. But he's, what, 78 years old? Remarkable energy. I think the key thing, and, and this is one thing I'm hoping for, I think the, the US public sector is massively bloated. Yeah, a bit like got, the UK. It is. Yeah. You know, and no one wants to put an axe to it. And he's got Elon Trump. He's giving him a mandate to save $2 trillion off the public purse yeah. there. And that's going to be massive. You've seen what he's done with Twitter. Fired 85% of the staff and it still works. Um, the US public sector is massively bloated, it employs too many people who yeah. sit around doing nothing. Absolutely. And that could be a shining blueprint. Yeah, for a Conservative government for, in the UK. For, 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 for us time. lot in the UK. Absol absolutely. Um, uh, Elon Musk was giving 50 million a month to Donald Trump's campaign. 50 million a month. Unbelievable. So do you think um, um, he will be... Um, vindictive and go after Biden and all of that and, and, and snare them Biden, in court cases. What did he say? Biden, the, the, crime, the crime family, with the knee, that's how he described them. And uh, Camilla, whatever her name is, you're fired, was, uh, <laughs> was another good one. I, 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 I think he might, personally, I think he might just turn it down a little, the, down a little bit, the rhetoric from last time round. I think he went you know, he sacked a lot of people, remember, in his cabinet, in his cabinet and all the rest of it, advisors, kept sacking people all the time. And, you know, that isn't a, you know, that isn't a good look and, it, and you need some stability. And I think with his um, vice, the, the vice president, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he's, he's more, he's got a bit more backbone than the rest of them, I think. And I think he will probably run the country more than more than uh, Donald Trump will in many ways, especially, remember, he's 78 now, he's going to be 82 by the time he finishes, he can't, he can't stand again, 
You can only do two terms. So um, I think the vice president will potentially be the new president the following Absolutely. four years. I think the, um, the difference between Trump last time, mm. he was a political outsider. Yes. And he basically had his family and yeah. he went for um, Republican sycophants to mm. fill his cabinet. Mm. This time... Uh, he understands the system yes. and he's built a strong team. He's built a him. strong team. And he's gone yep. in with a team, you know, the Robert Kennedy on the health stuff and getting rid of the... Because yep. we've got this problem with big pharma, uh, big pharmaceuticals influencing um, government as well. Sure. I was absolutely gobsmacked when Starmer says, you know what, let's give um, Ozempic to fat unemployed people to get them back to work. Well, what's now that with, sounds what's, like a cosy wrong, deal what's wrong with, with the drug. It's a, it's a government money going to a, a big pharmaceutical company to, for a monthly subscription to a drug. There are plenty of ways to get back into work apart from but taking there a are, drug. There are, and, Ranjan, and but, there are Ranjan, but fat people aren't doing it. You can't call them fat anymore, apparently, but fat people aren't doing it. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fat people sitting I think sitting you're missing the point, John. Who you're, have got you're, bad health because they're overweight and they can't get the weight down, they can't exercise because they're too big, John, da, 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 da. you're missing the issue. the issue. What's the issue? The issue in the US and in the UK yeah. is that big pharmaceutical companies mm. lobby government yes. to get of their health services we all lobby government to buy the their other. drugs on a subscription basis yep. every month, which yep. doesn't give anyone a cure, it, no. it's pills for life. Yes. And it takes money out the public purse. Yes. And that link, they are Robert Kennedy is part of the Trump team, he's trying to break that. You know, the Elon Musk with the public sector, that's phenomenal. As you said, um, the vice president and some of the other people in the team, Tulsi, um, the Democrat um, lady that's come over, and um, Vivek, uh, very, very strong people. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, coming in with that team is, is, is the, the, all singing off the same hymn sheet yeah. is going to be well, what transforms The other thing this. to remember, he never thought he would win last time. He never thought he was going to win the first time in 2016. So he wasn't really prepared, I don't think. I think he just thought, well, this is good fun. We'll do this. Oh, a load of people are backing me. Oh, that's great. But I genuinely don't think he thought, he didn't think he was going to win. This time, he thought he was going to win. And like you said, he's organised. Well, let's see what happens, Ranjan. I, I think the trade deal is a problem because uh, why would he give a trade deal to people who have insulted him? But let's see where we get on that. As for the property side of it, be interested to see what the American property market does. I think it will have a boost. Uh, and if that has a boost, then potentially we might get a bit of that, a bit of a boost as well, maybe. I don't know, with the interest rates. I think the, so, the, the biggest thing we can look forward to mm. is a little bit of a check and balance against yes. our government going yep. too left wing. Well, what I would say is normally, and the market's what, projecting in it. my experience, what happens in America eventually happens here. Yes. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Well, let us know what you hope for uh, in the comments below. Um, do you think it's going to make any difference at all to us in the UK and particularly us as property investors or us in business? Uh, that's all for this video. Thanks very much, John. See Pleasure. you guys next time.